Have a look at this question set. There are 10 questions in this. I'm showing these questions to you. Please do in 10 minutes, all of these 10 questions. Question number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. As per Harriet Dormer growth model, if the actual growth rate is greater than the warranted growth rate, the economy will, it will experience inflation. If economy actually is growing at the higher rate as compared to what entrepreneurs warrant, entrepreneurs think it should grow at, <clears throat> then <clears throat> there will be more demand. And uh, this is going to, to increase the prices in the economy. So the economy is going to experience inflation. Assertion is Okun's law is intended to tell us how much of a country's GDP may be lost when unemployment rate is above its natural rate. This is true. So Okun's law is the relationship between GDP and unemployment rate. If unemployment rate is going to be more than the natural rate of unemployment, then output is going to be less than the potential level of output, right? So there is a negative relationship. If unemployment is more, output is less. And the reasoning which they have given is, so A is true. Reasoning which they have given is an economy experiences a 2 percentage point increase in unemployment for every 2 percentage point decrease in GDP from its long run level. No, uh, this is not a one is to one relationship. So, so generally what is seen is that in case if there is an increase in unemployment of around 1%, there is around 2% fall in GDP. So it is not a one is to one relation. So A is true, but R is not true. Means R is not the correct explanation of, uh, of A, right? Or you can say uh, A is true, but R is not true. Which of the following statement is not true? This is about uh, Q ratio. I hope you remember about Tobin's Q, which is the market value of the firm upon the replacement cost of the assets. That is the Q ratio. So it was popularized by, uh, by James Tobin and invented by Nicholas Calder. That's true. So uh, Calder was the one who introduced it, but it was popularized by Tobin. So this is true. So you're not going to mark this. Q ratio, also known as Tobin's Q, measures whether a firm or aggregate market is relatively over or undervalued, right? This is also true. That is, uh, this is, uh, this is definitely true because uh, in case if the Q ratio is going to be more than one, it shows that the firm is overvalued. If it is less than one, firm is undervalued, right? So. And when you say firm is overvalued, it means that the market value is more than the replacement cost of the asset. Q ratio relies on the concept of market value and replacement value. That's true. So it is market value upon replacement cost of assets. So A, B and C are all true. The simplified Q ratio is the equity market value divided by the expected value. That's not true. So uh, it is market value upon replacement cost right? Replacement cost of the asset. So this is who among the following suggested the concept of inside money and outside money. So this was uh, suggested by Gurley and Shaw. They have written a book money in theory of finance. So there they have introduced this concept and uh, inside money is the money which is created in the private sector. For example, uh, bank loans, uh, deposits, while outside money is the currency which is issued by central bank or government, right? That is outside money. Which of the following represents the highest degree of economic integration? So one is preferential trading area. So here what happens is countries, they reduce tariffs on certain products, but they do not eliminate it completely. Then you have free trade area. All trade barriers among the member countries, they are removed. But each country maintains its own external trade policy. Then you have customs union. So among the member countries, they have free trade. But on the non-member countries, they adopt a common external tariff. Then you have common market. So common market has all the uh, characteristics of customs union, but it is also allowing the free movement of labor and capital across borders. And then you have economic union. This involves highest level of coordination, including a common currency in some areas. For example, in Eurozone, select the pair that is wrongly matched. Bruges-Gottfried test, 
it is used for autocorrelation yes golfel quant test this is used for heteroscedasticity yes jack bera test used for normality yes chow test is used for structural breaks for multicollinearity you rather use variance inflation factor so what is wrongly matched is chow test assertion is that repo rate is the rate at which the rbi lends money to the commercial banks in the event of any shortfall of funds yes it does so this is the rate at which rbi is lending to the commercial banks so assertion is right repo rate is used by monetary authorities to control inflation this is also correct right this is also correct and uh, uh, it is used by monetary authorities to control inflation in a way if inflation is high so rbi is going to increase the repo rate and hence there will be lesser money supply in the economy which is going to reduce inflation so yes uh, both a and r are true and r is a correct explanation of a so whenever you have assertion reasoning question always check assertion and reasoning separately first and then try to think is reasoning explaining the assertion which of the following is not the component of m1 narrow money see uh, savings deposit with the banking system entirely is not the part of of narrow money out of the savings deposit only that portion which is demand liabilities portion that is the part of narrow money that is the part of m1 so savings deposits with the banking system is not entirely the part of m1 what is sarfasi act it is securitization and reconstruction of financial assets and enforcement of securities interest act that is b it was passed in 2002 agricultural price commission was constituted in 1965 its main aim was to uh, ensure ensure remunerative prices for farmer it was renamed as cacp in 1985 a uh, commission of agricultural cost and price so do tell me how many you were able to do uh, how much how many questions you were able to get right Thank you very much.